Well, Rob, uh, another final to look forward to against a team you've not played this season. That's interesting. You know, I, I can't recall a time where that has happened uh, since I've been uh, around the league where uh, two teams meet in the final but haven't played each other at all this season. So um, although we do know a lot of their players and they know a lot of our players, there are new players and, uh, you know, there is an unknown quality uh, to this basketball game. And your form leading up to the final has been pretty good, hasn't it? Oh, it certainly has. Uh, you know, we had a nice rhythm going, uh, especially on the offensive end uh, as of late. Um, but, you know, we've had to mix things up as well. I mean, obviously with the loss of, of, of Anthony Downing, um, you know, we've won a couple games in different ways. Uh, and that's what I like about the group is that um, – uh, we have shown the ability to win different ways. You know, it doesn't have to be a low-scoring game. It doesn't have to be a high-scoring game. Uh, you know, I feel like we've adjusted well to whatever's been thrown at us this season. Shame for Anthony Downing, Downing to miss the final, though, isn't it? Now? It certainly is. And, you know, I was thinking about it yesterday, uh, looking back at his cup performances uh, to get there uh, against Worcester and against Plymouth. And, um, you know, he's a big reason why we're here, where we're at. And uh, we certainly feel for him. And uh, we understand that... Um, you know, he's going to be rooting us on and, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's in our thoughts. And Newcastle, obviously, you know, they've lost four games this season. It's almost unusual to see that with them, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, I think sometimes people get a little carried away. I've watched them uh, a lot over the last couple of weeks and they're a very good team. I mean, hey, you know, it's, it's a tough league to play in and they've lost, but they've, to me, they looked really strong and I think um, they have a lot of weapons. I think the, the, the new guys that Fab has brought in are very talented. And, um, you know, it's going to be a good game. It's, it's two teams that, um, uh, you know, are familiar with each other in some ways, but in other ways aren't. And obviously your, most of your players have had four finals last season, and uh, that's going to help the, the new guys, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I think it's important that we have uh, players that have been in this game. And I think this week we can... Uh, you know, have uh, discussions about, um, you know, what it takes and um, what we need to do. But um, basketball is basketball, man. I think sometimes people uh, uh, make it um, a little more complicated than it actually is. When you walk out on that floor on Sunday, yeah, there'll be a lot of pomp and circumstance and, uh, you know, everybody will be fired up and it's a great event. But once you get in between the lines, it's, it's a basketball game and that's how you have to take it. And uh, going into this, you had a stormer of a game against Sheffield, didn't you, last week? Yeah, you know, it's still a lot of people talking about it, uh, fans uh, talking about one of the better games they've seen as far as being dramatic. You know, anytime you go uh, two overtimes, play 50 minutes. Uh, but I thought there were seven, I think there were 17 lead changes in the game and <laughs> six ties and nobody led by more than two baskets throughout. So... You know, that's what makes basketball special, a game like that where it's back and forth. And uh, we feel fortunate to, to have, have won that game and to, to have beaten a good Sheffield team. And a very good league position for you as well. Obviously, you know, most teams have played a few more games than you. Yeah, we, uh, we've lost twice. Uh, you know, if you had told me um, you know, we'd be in close to the second week of January and have only lost twice in the league, I would have taken it, no question. Uh, so, yeah, I've been very... Uh, impressed with the way our guys have been resilient. I mean, there have been times here where, uh, you know, we haven't been 100% or, you know, the schedule may be coming at us in a, in a tough way. But uh, regardless, these guys have persevered through to a really good first half of the season. And with Downing gone, you brought in a, a new point guard. He's not going to be involved this weekend. Just tell us about him. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the rules say that he can't play because it's not registered in time, which is, you know, definitely something that's uh, um, disappointing. But, um uh, Mike Black's a player that uh, uh, comes highly recommended from a lot of my contacts in the U.S. And I think his uh, college career speaks for itself. He's a guy that can make plays and, you know, we won't be able to use him for the cup. But we're looking forward to getting him on the floor when uh, league play resumes. And a word for the fans, you know, they enjoyed a good time following you. And I, I know there'll be a big following again uh, over in Birmingham. Well, yeah, I think... Um, these finals, uh, what has been so nice, and especially playing against Newcastle's, the supporters from both sides turn out in numbers. And I think, you know, you see that when you walk in. And uh, what more can I say about our fans? Uh, the, the, the loyalty, um, the noise they make, the support. And trust me, there's a lot of new fans that we are embracing right now that continue to come to the games, uh, continue to support, and are catching a fever. But there's a lot of old timers in there that um, have been there for a long, long time. And I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate their support and their loyalty. And I think that's what we stand for here. And that's one thing that um, 
I want uh, this program to be about. I want it to be a loyal, you know, type of situation. And we have uh, some of the most loyal followers in the league. On a lighter note, uh, do you watch games back and watch your own reaction to what's going on? Because you can get pretty animated, Rob, can't you? Well, I think that um, sometimes I try to look away when I watch them back. But um, no, I, you know, I understand that that's something that uh, comes out in me. And again, I've said it time and time again that it's never rehearsed. Uh, it's never staged. Uh, and when I look back on it, sometimes I'm surprised uh, that I could react that way. But um, it's all because we just want to win, and, and, and I think everybody in the room wants to win. Everybody uh, that plays here uh, understands that that's all we're trying to do. We're not trying to uh, get in the newspaper. We're not trying to do anything uh, fancy. We're just trying to win games.